housing market is anything but hot in the islands, but home improvement businesses are warming up for a busier year. KITV4's Paul Drew stopped by this weekend's home building and remodeling show. Melinda Ashton is ready for a remodel at her Ina Heine home. Our home is, the, the last time we did it was 30 years ago, so the kitchen's pretty old and it's time to do something new with it. She's got her eye on environmentally friendly flooring and the latest looks in home decor. We are tired of the old kitchen. She's not alone and looking for something new. An estimated 25,000 people are expected to attend the weekend expo. Businesses believe many will end up buying new products or upgrading existing homes. They've not done things to their home for a long time. Deferred maintenance adds up over time. People have money that they want to spend. They have equity in their homes that they can access through home equity lines. And they're looking to give their homes a makeover. Many businesses anticipate a steady increase in sales for 2013. So Gary's company and others are hiring more staff to get ready for the rush. We're seeing an uptick in the volume of business and we needed to keep pace with that. And if we don't have the people in the office to service the phone calls when they come in, then we're going to lose out on customers. So we believe it's uh, uh, an indication of where things are headed this year. To give you an idea of just how busy businesses expect this year to be, this show is completely full of exhibitors. That hasn't happened since 2009. In fact, there was even a waiting list for companies to come in. Some businesses are excited about showing off brand new ideas. Others, the latest improvements to age-old products. But most are hopeful for 2013, and that includes solar companies who are dealing with the new cap on the state tax credit. The tax credits did drop, but here's the neat thing about it. The cost of electrical panels used to be really high, the solar panels, right? Now they've dropped, but they've dropped in relationship to the tax credit. In Honolulu, Paul Drews, KITV4 News. The Building Industry Association show continues tonight at the Blaisdell Exhibition Hall until 9, and it'll continue tomorrow between 10 and 4.